Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Kevin from SimpleDrummer.com. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be having a conversation with Josh Traeger, the drummer for the Sam Roberts Band. Josh and I have been hanging out today, playing some drums, just talking about life, and we're about to get into a conversation for you folks at home to get a glimpse of what it's like to live a day in the life of Josh Traeger. Thanks for being here, buddy. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I was wondering, for all the folks at home, the first thing that I really wanted to ask you is if you could give us a little bit of an idea how you got started as a drummer in the first place. Yeah, I mean, uh, my, f my first real influence and the reason why I w wanted to play drums was uh, I'd been a fan of music. One day I just uh, happened to hear uh, Guns N' Roses song like uh, i don't know on the radio or maybe it was a video or something but it was really just the musicality of the one drum fill that we've all heard a million times and that's like the, the blah, 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 blah. and as soon as i heard that i don't know it just it just spoke to something in me and uh, it, or it awoken something and uh i had to investigate this drum thing. Who would you say throughout your entire drumming career has been your biggest supporter? Ultimately, my my parents were, um, you know, just, they went above and beyond in the uh, support department. And, and then every step of the way, over the years, they, they've been there and um, ever present and getting involved. I mean, I would get modern drummers, um, mo modern drummer magazines. My mother would actually read through them and then talk to me about the drum. And I was like, I was a kid. I was just like looking at the pictures and the ads and stuff. And I wasn't really sitting there reading the interviews and stuff yet. And mm -hmm. she would be like, let me tell you about this guy, Jeff Porcaro. This is very interesting. He you know, was a member of this band and that band and recorded with like, you know, with Steely Dan, Toto and like, countless others uh michael jackson and and you know it just it, it helped me along the way i remember because uh, with the guns and roses uh influence uh matt sorum was was uh very Im uh, important to me at the, at the time and uh when the burning for buddy tribute came out my mother was like you know if you if you listen to the whole album, one of the only guys that really has the same spirit of Buddy Rich is, is Matt Sorum. And I was like, oh my God, th thanks mom. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> cool, well, in terms of drummers, I mean, you kind of partly answered this question, but in terms of drummers, who would you say is like uh, as far as influences go your drumming hero is it matt sorum or have you had other drummers that you've studied and sort of gained more consistently or over a longer period of time inspiration from i've been trying to figure out vinnie kalayuda for about 25 <laughs> years <laughs> <laughs> you know and vinnie always ta talks about when he discovered like tony williams and 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 how like that opened up the the fl floodgates of like uh, the whole idea of like of concept, mm -hmm. you know what that could could mean uh, in terms of drum playing drums or playing music. Other than Vinny, the, I mean obviously like Steve Gadd. I mean this is the kind of thing where like the we could just talk for hours about different drummers. Absolutely, um, it's hard to narrow it down to yeah, just one, right? Yeah. yeah. If you could take a lesson today from yeah. any drummer who's still alive on the planet. Yeah. Is it Vinny? It's, it's, first one comes to mind. Yeah, it's Vinny. It's Vinny. It's Vinny. I, I mean, there's so <laughs> many, so many questions. So many. It's like, I, I have, I've met him on a number of occasions. Uh, the first time I was 17 at the Montreal Drum Fest, and, and I was about to audition for Berklee College of Music. So I, I just said, you know, can you please tell me, like, when you were 17, what kind of stuff were you, were you doing? And he said, I was just checking out everything I could. Great, great answer. It make, makes a lot of sense. Uh, and then I said, I'm about to audition for, for Berkeley. What kind of stuff are they looking for? What kind of, like, w what do you recommend? And he, he, again, great advice. Just be yourself. Which is the hardest thing to do yeah. uh, in music, in the arts. I mean, especially if you're coming at it from a place where your influences mean the absolute world to you and you can't imagine anything better than that. 
Yeah. What's, what's your favorite yeah. aspect of, of, of being a musician, of having a, a full-time career in music? Like, what's your favorite thing about that? Uh, getting, I mean, it sounds cliche, but getting to do what I love. Getting to, to, to do what I love and, and, you know, having sort of my childhood dreams uh, of playing music uh, as my vocation realized. If you can get there, then you better consider yourself damn lucky. And I certainly do. Yeah, so, um, you know what? It's the, it's the times that I remember what I do and why I do it. That, that's the best thing about, about it. The times that I re remember why I'm doing it. Well, let's talk about your work with uh, Sam Roberts Band, which is um, uh, over the years something that um, you know you've been you've been the drummer in that band for a, a long time now. Yep. Uh, done a lot of work in the studio on the road. What what would you say is the thing you're the most proud of? Coming from that question from a like uh, coming to that question from like the standpoint of uh, a musician wanting to express themselves and be uh, an integral force in the in the uh, creative process there's been a, f a few instances along the way where uh, I was able to contribute you know uh, some some uh, musical ideas and things that like uh, I mean the, that that's so, sort of the most rewarding uh, aspect of of uh, playing and making music. So um, over the years, with all the touring and the high profile gigs and everything, what, what what would you say is the coolest place you've ever been to to play a show? We've played in a few places that a few bands. Uh, actually, I got it. I got it. Cuba. Cuba. Yeah. Oh wow. A, a legitimate rock and roll show in Cuba. Uh, and that was uh, to celebrate the, I think it was like 70 years of uninterrupted diplomatic relations. And for, for me as a, as, a, as a drummer studying Afro-Cuban uh, music and, and rhythms and, and stuff uh, for, for a number of years, to be, to be there where it was, it's like in the water, it's in the, it's in, uh, you know, the, 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 the blood, of, uh, it's, it's just, it's in the air, you know? Being on the road and everything gives you the opportunity to visit so many cool places in the world. That's definitely one of the highlights is the, the travel aspect of it. Yeah. So if you could travel for, just personally, for your own enjoyment, anywhere else in the world that you have not been to yet, where would you want to go? I think Italy. Ah, okay. uh, I know. Actually, Australia. Oh yeah. Yeah, Australia. I uh, I've always been fascinated with the big crocodile Dundee fan in the eighties, <laughs> and yeah. uh, the 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 band just before I joined, like weeks before, they had spent three months recording, uh, and hanging out in Australia. So oh, wow. I I missed the the boat, on that one. I missed the flight. On that <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah Australia. Um, yeah, I mean, if I could pick two, Australia and, and Italy. If you could play drums for any band, obviously aside from the Sam Roberts band, who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be really, really fun to do a gig with Brian Adams. I think it would be such a hair-raising thrill <laughs> to just like play all those, all those great like power pop. Power ballads and those great, you know, pop rock hits. Yeah. Could you describe for us um, an instance, sometime in your career, where you sort of felt the sting of failure, like where you did something and you thought, you know what? I just totally shit the bed on that. I, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. <laughs> but but as a flip side to this, um, you know, how you learned from that experience. I did this uh, performance um, last fall. 
And I certainly put my share of, the, of pressure on myself. And uh, I, I mean, I was asked to be there. I had every right to be there, but I just still couldn't help but like o almost like put my, myself down and question myself and my, my self-worth as a musician, as a drummer. It's like, it's almost like every single thing I've accomplished is out the window. It doesn't mean anything. So I did the thing and it went okay. You know, it didn't like, I knew that um, I knew what I was capable of, and I didn't come close. What I learned from it was I got I to gotta do something about that. And what I actually ended up doing was something I've been thinking about for a long time, and that was to study martial arts. Because I, cool. I needed something to sort of help balance my mind and my body and, you know... Um, get things in, in into perspective, get things in, in check. And so I started uh, studying Jeet Kune Do, and that's the Bruce Lee method. of mi It's like mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, see? Yeah, Jeet Kune Do, there it is. Yeah. On a similar but uh, lighter tone, mm. if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Well, I'm legally blind, so just to see regular would be fine for me. <laughs> I would consider that a superpower. Yeah. Just 2020 mm. vision, not 20 even, 20. would be fine. Yeah, yeah, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about practicing, playing on the drums. Yeah. Being a drummer, of course, um, you know, you mentioned there's times where, of course, you've got to do that professionally, learning tunes, working on music, parts, things like that. Uh, but then there's times where you sit down to play for yourself as a drummer. So when you have those moments, what are some of the things that you go to? What are some of the things you enjoy working on and practicing? My playlist hasn't even changed of what I play along to. hasn't changed all that much in 20 plus years. There's still like the same old Sting songs and like some Toto, Michael Jackson, uh, Chick Corea. So yeah, I like playing along to specific songs that have specific grooves, and I like to move around stylistically, mm -hmm. because if I'm ever in a situation where I need to do that, I'm, I've I've already like practiced, play, you know, moving from one style to the next, different dynamics and things like that. If you were to offer uh, some advice to drummers out there who are, you know, in the earlier stages of their career they're just starting to get their feet wet learning some things maybe they just started playing in a band and they're kind of you know having these dreams that we had in the past of you know having a career in music being a full-time drummer um, you know what what would you say is some advice that you could offer those people for where they are now that maybe was some advice you wish you had when you were at that stage uh, what I actually think is uh, what we're missing out on now is there's less, the young people are missing out on now is that there's less emphasis and less romanticizing about the past. When, when, I, when we were coming up, like, you know, all the music and all the, the lineage of, of drumming and, and the great drummers of, of the past meant so so much and and like we looked at them in such we held them in such high regard and i feel like a lot of these guys are really being taken for granted now uh, and people aren't really like digging deep and i feel like they really should if you don't do that you're going to be missing something you're going to be missing depth and that might fly but i feel like if you want to stand out you you gotta get you know just go back and check everything out and get and get into it get deep go deep yeah josh thanks so much for being here today and hanging out and giving everyone you know all of our viewers uh, a glimpse into your life as a drummer and your career yeah, and man. you know and a little My bit pleasure. about the philosophy of life and how you think about everything i think uh, i think a lot of the things you had to say were super helpful uh, and and I'm Thanks. I'm honored to have you here to uh, you know hang out and talk with me and for everyone that's uh, watching at home. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of fun, man. Awesome. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks in. so much, buddy. Cheers.